Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice quadratic equation x to the power 4 minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. Our job is to find all possible values of x. We will solve it by two methods. So, let us start with method 1. We notice that uh, x is equal to negative 1 is a solution to this equation. It means uh, x plus 1 is a factor. So, to find the other factor we use uh, synthetic division. Coefficient of this uh, x to the power 4 is uh, 1. And, uh, in place of uh, x cubed we write 0, in place of x squared we write 0, and in coefficient of x is negative 5 and the constant is negative 6. And we divide it by negative 1. This 1 comes down as it is. We multiply this 1 by this negative 1, we get negative 1. 0 plus the negative 1 is negative 1 negative 1 times this negative 1 positive 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 times this negative 1 negative 1 negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6 negative 6 times negative 1 plus 6 and negative 6 plus 6 is 0 that is a remainder so we get the one factor x plus 1 and the other factor this one is for x cubed and this negative 1 is for x squared and this plus 1 is for x and this is a constant. So, the other factor is x cubed minus x squared plus x and negative 6 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to negative 1. This is the first solution and to find other three solutions we solve this cubic equation. We notice that x is equal to 2 is a solution. It means uh, x minus 2 is a factor. We rewrite this equation as uh, x cubed. We write this uh, negative 1 x squared as uh, negative 2 x squared plus uh, x squared. We write this plus 1x as negative 2x plus 3 times x minus this 6 is equal to 0. From these roots 2x squared we can factor out x squared in by the left x minus 2. And from these two terms x squared minus 2x we can factor out x in bracket left x minus 2 and from these two terms 3x minus 6 we can factor out plus 3 in bracket left x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this x minus 2 is common so we factor out this x minus 2 and in bracket left x squared plus x plus 3 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus uh, x plus 3 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the second solution x2 is equal to 2 and from this uh, quadratic equation x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 3. 
divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus this 1 squared is 1 and this negative 4 times 1 times 3 is negative 12. So, this will become negative 11 and square root of negative 11 will become root 11 times i divided by 2. This is the third and fourth value of x. So, we get a fourth solution of this equation by using this method. Now, let us solve this equation by method 2. In this method, we move these two terms in negative 5x and negative 6 to the right hand side. So, this will become x to the power 4 is equal to 5 times x plus 6. Now, we make this left hand side a perfect square. We write this x to the power 4 as x squared whole squared. We add here k squared where k is a constant and to make this perfect square we write in the middle 2 times x squared times k is equal to 5 times x plus 6. Since we have added 2 k x squared plus k squared at the left hand side, so we add same at the right hand side 2 k x squared plus k squared. Now, this will become x squared plus k whole squared is equal to we rearrange these terms, we write this 2 k x squared first 2 k x squared plus this 5 times x plus this 6 plus k squared. Now, this left hand side is a perfect square. So, this right hand side can be a perfect square if the discriminant of this quadratic equation is equal to 0. So, the discriminant delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. This should be equal to 0 if this is a perfect square. So, in this equation b is 5. So, this is 5 squared minus 4 times a is 2k times c is 6 plus k squared is equal to 0. Now, this 5 squared will become 25 and 4 times 2 times k will become negative 8k times 6 plus k squared is equal to 0. Next, 25 minus 8k times 6 48k. Negative 8k times k squared will become negative 8k cubed is equal to 0. Now, we rearrange and multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. So, this will become positive 8k cubed plus 48k minus 25 is equal to 0. This 8k cubed can be written as a 2k whole cubed. Since here we have 2k so, we write this 48k as plus 24 times 2k minus 25 is equal to 0. Now, we suppose that let 2 times k is equal to y. So, this equation will become y cube plus 24 times y minus 25 is equal to 0. We notice that uh, y is equal to 1 is a solution. So, from this equation we can find the value of k 2 k is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 over 2. Now, we put this value of k 1 over 2 in this original equation. In this equation, we replace every k with this 1 over 2. So, this will become 
x squared plus 1 over 2 whole squared is equal to 2 times the value of k is 1 over 2 x squared plus 5 times x plus 6 plus value of k is 1 over 2 squared. Now, this left side remains same and we work on this right hand side. This 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and here we are left with x squared plus 5 times x plus 6 plus 1 over 2 squared will become 1 over 4. Next, x squared plus 5 times x. We can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM. LCM of 1 and 4 is 4. So, 4 divided by 1 is 4. 4 times 6, 24. Plus 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times this one, 1. Next, x squared. This uh, 24 plus 1 will become plus uh, 25 over 4. This is 25 over 4. 25 over 4 is equal to 5 over 2 whole square. So, we write this uh, 5 times x as plus uh, 2 times x times 5 over 2. And this uh, can be written as uh, x plus uh, 5 over 2 x squared plus uh, 1 over 2 whole squared. Now, we take a square root of both sides. So, this uh, square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and we are left with uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over 2 positive x plus uh, 5 over 2 and uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over 2 is equal to negative x minus 5 over 2. Now, first we solve this equation. We multiply both sides by 2. So, this will become 2x squared plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 5. We move with these two terms to the left hand side. Then this will become 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 5 is equal to 0 and 2x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. We divide both sides by 2. So, this will become x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. In this quadratic equation is factorable. We write x squared and we split this negative x as a negative 2 times x plus 1 time x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, x is common in bracket left x minus 2. From these two terms, we can factor out 1 in bracket left x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, x minus 2 is common and in bracket left x plus 1 is equal to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this x plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of x is equal to 2 and from this equation, we get the value of x is equal to negative 1. So, these are the first and second value of x. Now, we solve this equation. We multiply each term by 2. This will become 2x squared plus 1 is equal to negative 2x negative 5. Move these two terms to the left hand side. This will become 2x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 plus 5 is equal to 0. 2x squared plus 2 times x plus 6 is equal to 0. Divide uh, both sides by 2. This will become x squared plus uh, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Solving this uh, quadratic equation by quadratic formula, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 
1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3 divided by 2 times a is 1. Now, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times 3 is 12. 1 minus 12 is negative 11 divided by 2 times 1, 2. So, from here we get two values of x is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 11 times i over 2. This is the third and fourth value of x. So, we get the same four solutions as we get by using method 1.